maritime and land borders in order to maintain peace and stability. The meeting in Sigelso was, on the one hand, to strengthen the strategic cooperation between the two armed forces and also to agree on an operational strategy to address the security challenges along our common borders. In order to implement the necessary mechanism to operationalize the joint combined or parallel patrols. Following the discussion on the security situation along the borders, the military cooperation and the necessary necessity to preserve peace and stability between the, the two countries. The committee expressed their commitment to implement the instruction of the high political authorities of Senegal and the Gambia. At the political and strategic level, the committee took cognizance of the need for stability between the two countries, sharing the same culture and values also to reaffirm its commitment in line with the agreement on defense and security cooperation among the two countries. At the operational level, the committee took cognizance of the security situation along the borders, issues and the primacy of the efficient, efficient and common operational plans, also to avoid a possible escalation of forces along the borders. The committee agreed and signed a communique at the end of the meeting in Sigemso. The meeting also include zone commanders and various battalion commanders, both in the Gambia and Senegal, also to discuss the modalities on how operationalize the combined and the joint patrol between the two armed forces. I can assure you that the Gambia Armed Forces is fully committed in the implementation of the communique and any other ag agreement between the two countries on defense and security. I want to seize this opportunity to welcome the delegation from Senegal and for, to let you know that you are at home. You are free as we are in Senegal in six months behind that we put up a communique. Unfortunately, most of the, its implement, implementation was not implemented based on one or two reasons. One of the reasons that uh, some, of the, some of the challenges we have was that uh, due, after the signing of the communique, we were challenged with uh, organizing uh, the OIC. If you could recall back, we were having an OIC conference in the Gambia here, and most of the troops that's supposed to be part of that uh, patrol to fulfill the communique. We are all engaged on the OIC security and other engagements. That's why most of uh, the communique could not be implemented. But we can assure you that we are fully committed to any assigned agreement between the Gambia and Senegal, especially the defense and security and the protocol on the implementation of uh, this uh, agreement. So, not to give a long speech, I would like to welcome each and every one of you, especially the delegation uh, to kickstart the, this conference that will take us from today and tomorrow. And I wish you all a successful engagement. And at the end of the day, we will all uh, share our common goods towards the peace and security of our two countries. On that note, on behalf of the Chief of Defense Staff, I would like to welcome you once again and feel free, feel at home. You are also free to explore, especially you are very close to one of our historical uh, places here, that is the Kachikali. I know General Ndur was there, I know he, has, he was here. That's why I even told him, you came earlier because you want to visit your families here. <laughs> So you can also find time to check into our historical places within the Gambia. Once again, welcome and thank you so much. de la République de la Gambie, Monsieur le Général de Division, sous-chef d'état-major de l'armée gambienne, Messieurs les attachés de défense et de sécurité, 
de le haut commissariat de la République du Sénégal en Gambie et de la Gambie au Sénégal. Monsieur le colonel commandant la force de la Misega. Monsieur les officiers supérieurs, membres des deux délégations sénégalaises et gambiennes. Mesdames, Messieurs, Honorables invités. Au nom du chef d'état-major général des armées du Sénégal et au nom de toute la délégation que je conduis, je voudrais tout d'abord exprimer nos remerciements à toutes les autorités étatiques et militaires de la République sœur de Gambie. After extending the normal protocols, he will want to officially embrace his greetings and thanks to those that he came with as well. Donc, euh, exprimer tous mes remerciements, d'abord pour l'hospitalité pointillée qui nous a été réservée depuis notre arrivée. I will want to thank uh, the invitations that we are given and the hospitality that we are issued since our arrival. Et aussi pour l'intérêt sans cesse grandissant que vous portez à notre coopération. And the sincerity that you always progress in our cooperation. La présence ce matin à notre cérémonie d'illustres invités. The presence in this morning for our invitation as well. Traduit un commun vouloir de vivre et de se développer. It tells on how we are going to live and develop. En utilisant notre frontière commune. By using our, our, our border that's common. Et notre voisinage. And our neighborhood. Comme une opportunité heureuse et non comme une situation embarrassante. Like a common situation that we can always embrace each other. Cette réunion bipartite. This reunion here, which is the meeting here. La deuxième après celle tenue à Ziganshaw. Which is the second one from the one that we had in Ziganshaw. Et surtout porté sur la sécurité. Which has to do with the security. Et la fait son bonhomme de chemin malgré les difficultés ça et là. It's on the right way, how about there were some difficulties. Même si notre manque de patience ne lui crédite pas du nombre d'activités et de dynamisme que nous avions voulu. However, even though we had that progress and need to make sure that what we need is actually in progress, the difficulties that we had, we actually tried to encounter them. Cependant, Therefore, nous sommes conscients qu'il n'y a pas de place pour le découragement dans un partenariat. There is no way we can get discouraged from this progress that we have taken so far. Et tant que la volonté est là, tout est possible. Since we have that volunteer, everything is possible. Cette deuxième rencontre sera donc pour nous. This, this second leg, we have to do with. L'occasion de faire un bilan exhaustif. An occasion that has to do with an exhaustive mission. Pour voir les réalisations des activités et des projets que nous nous étions fixés. To see the realities of the project that we actually fix. Non pour nous y attarder. There is no way we'll have to hold back. Mais pour nous permettre de relancer l'action avec plus de confiance et de détermination. To get along with so much confidence and determination. Je vous réitère pour finir toute notre disponibilité et nos bonnes dispositions. I would like to end by our all activities and all hands in desk actually. À aller de l'avant dans ce partenariat to go ahead with this partnership pour une paix et une sécurité durable entre nos deux pays. with peace and security within these two countries. Welcome to my country. Welcome to his country. General Ndour. Next on the line of speakers is the Senegalese High Commissioner Basiru, Ambassador Basiru Sen. Please, sir. Ambassador Basiru Sen. Qui empêché aujourd'hui n'a pas pu honorer de sa présence à cette cérémonie. 
who is held back as a result of other very pressing matters. Monsieur le ministre de la Défense de la République de Gambie. Honorable Minister of Defense of the Republic of Gambia. Monsieur le représentant du secrétariat permanent au Sénégal au Gambia. And the representative of the permanent secretary at Sénégal au Gambia. Monsieur le général de division des armées sénégalaises et gambiennes. And all the generals are heading the different respective divisions of the armies. Monsieur le Pacheur de Défense et de Sécurité et du Haut Commissariat de la République du Sénégal en Gambie. And the Defense Attaché who is uh, stationed at the Senegalese Embassy. Monsieur le Pacheur de Défense du Haut Commissariat de la République du Gambie euh, au Sénégal. And the Defense Attaché who is also at the Gambian Embassy in Senegal. Monsieur les officiers supérieurs, membres des deux délégations. And the, all the senior officers here, uh, especially those in the delegation. Monsieur le commandant de la force Musega. Je voudrais tout d'abord saluer la délégation sénégalaise venue des régions de Dakar, Kaolak, Zigasha et Kolda pour assister à cette importante rencontre. J'en profite aussi pour adresser mes sincères remerciements à nos frères de la République Sœur de Gambie qui ont bien voulu convier leurs homologues sénégalais à cette rencontre. En effet, la dynamique enclenchée depuis le dernier conseil présidentiel tenu à Bangui. Au mois d'août 2023, dénote une réelle volonté politique des plus hautes autorités de nos deux pays de prendre en compte de façon conjointe to take in a joint manner les défis sécuritaires auxquels nos deux pays The security challenges that our two countries sont confrontés aussi bien terrestres que maritimes. La préservation de la libre circulation des citoyens à travers les frontières. To preserve the free movement of, of people and goods across our borders. Étant consacré par la Charte africaine des droits de l'homme et des peuples. Being uh, expressed in the uh, human rights uh, charter. Il nous incombe aujourd'hui de mettre en place des mesures adaptées aux communes pour faire face aux nombreux défis sécuritaires constatés au niveau de nos frontières communes. L'existence d'individus et de groupes aux velléités déstabilisatrices ajoutée à la persistance d'activités illicites and the uh, persistent illicit activities tel que le trafic de drogue et le trafic de bois so it has uh, drug trafficking and uh, timber trafficking continue de saper le moral de nos populations continues to erode the morals of our population vivant au niveau de nos frontières who are living at the border lines as it is a result il est urgent de trouver des solutions afin de soulager nos frères it is therefore very important to find solutions to help our brothers Sœurs et enfants vivant dans ces zones. Le Sénégal et la Gambie sont liés par l'histoire et la géographie. Même s'ils sont deux États indépendants et souverains, ils constituent un seul peuple en raison de leur particularité au plan linguistique. Culturel, religieux et social. Cultural and religious uh, uh, issues. De là, il importe de travailler des perceptions. It is therefore important to work together. Afin de bâtir les espaces frontaliers. So that we can establish a, a border. Sécurisé et mutuellement contrôlé. Well secure and well monitored. La rencontre de Jésus. Is meeting there. Traduit parfaitement. La volonté d'aboutir à cet objectif si visé. À cet égard, il nous incombera au sortir de cette rencontre at the end of this meeting, de mettre à profit les différentes idées to, uh, on ideas, 
generated by the panel, the personnel, civil, the military. Uh, that would be generated from uh, the both the security and the civilian. This is the delete of our two countries. Je terminerai par vous souhaiter un très bon succès. I would therefore finish by expressing a pray for great success dans nos activités. In our deliberations. Le quel succès nous fera connaître nos deux pays. A such a success would crown two countries. Tout en renforçant le cadre juridique de coopération. Strengthening our mutual cooperation. Déjà été fait entre nos deux États. It already in place between our two countries. Pour conclure, Monsieur le Ministre, Mesdames et Messieurs. To conclude, therefore, Honourable Minister, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Je voudrais réitérer l'engagement. I want to reiterate this wish. Le Sénégal a ne ménagé aucun effort. That the Senegal will do every effort. En vue de la mise en œuvre des décisions et résolutions. To see the implementation of the resolutions and the decisions. Qui sanctionneront cette rencontre. Which will come out of this meeting. Ainsi que pour des délibérations. And as well as the deliberations. Structurées et constructives. Fruitful and constructive. Je vous remercie de votre attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. Now, next in the line of speakers for this opening ceremony is the Honorable Minister of Defense, Ambassador. I have the similar honor to call him to the podium, sir. Thank you. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Mungi santi Allah di dalal delegation. Binga hamne ki nga hamne moi His Excellency. General Du Moko Jite Mom Aki Members of his delegation Nino Gambi Fi Nino Dalla Dile Noa Bismillah Your Excellency The High Commissioner of the Republic of Senegal To the Republic of Gambia Ibli represented by the Deputy High Commissioner On m'a fait comprendre que vous parlez tous anglais Ou vous voulez que je traduise en français these are the best of officers. They can speak every language. <laughs> Your Excellency, Dr. Cherno Bari, the Deputy Permanent Representative of the Senegal Gambia Permanent Secretariat. Excellency, Major General Noor, head of the Senegalese delegation and the esteemed members of the Senegalese delegation, the honorable members here present, the Deputy Chief of Defense Staff of the Gambia Armed Forces, Major General Osman Gomez, the commanding officers here present, The deputy, um, the principal staff officers here present, the force commander, the economic, the defense attaché from the Republic of Senegal to the Gambia, uh, defense attaché from the Republic of the Gambia to Senegal, also here present, senior officers here present. Distinguished members of the media fraternity, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols respectfully and duly observed. Um, allow me to take this opportunity on behalf of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Republic of the Gambia, to warmly welcome the esteemed members of the Senegalese delegation, led by General Ndour, to the smiling coast of Africa, the Republic of the Gambia. You are all welcome to your second home, and please do feel free to interact and explore the warm hospitality and all the excellent facilities please at your disposal. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at the bilateral level, the Gambia and Senegal continues to enjoy
close and cordial relations as development partners. The relationship has developed into a strategic partnership based on shared democratic values and the increased convergence of interest on bilateral, regional, and also on global issues. The two countries co continue to share a long history of fruitful bilateral relations, guided by mutual trust and respect, and the great values we shared as members of the United Nations, ECOWAS, the African Union, and the OIC. On this basis of friendly and fraternal relations existing between our two countries, numerous bilateral agreements and memoranda have been signed on various sectors of our economy. But on the defense and security sector notably, the agreement on defense and security cooperation between the Republic of the Gambia and the Republic of Senegal which was signed in March 2017. The protocol on the operational arrangements for the implementation of the right to cross-border hot pursuit and the joint or combined patrols, this protocol agreement was also signed in September 2018. These agreements and protocols seek to further strengthen the bilateral relations between our two countries on the basis of mutual understanding and respect and the need to promote and consolidate peace and security in both countries in the mutual interest of our two people. Ladies and gentlemen, therefore permit me at this juncture to salute the wisdom and unparalleled commitment of our successive political leadership for creating the enabling environment for the defense sector of the two countries to engage in this very important brotherly and friendly dialogue to take place. As you sit around the table to discuss matters of joint military activities, let me remind you that at the third presidential council meeting which was held in Banjul in July and August 2023. The following conclusions were recommended. One, the establishment of the Joint Military and Joint Defense and Security Committees. These committees can help build trust and confidence between the security agencies of the two countries. They can also intervene and diffuse tensions and agreed on common standard operating procedures, particularly on matters bordering on security to security engagements, such as joint patrols, combined patrols, or joint operations. <laughs> the Joint Military Defense and Security Committees, in the contemplation of the hot pursuit protocol, is that they will always meet to review the prevailing defense and security situation in the general areas of the two countries and agreed on a joint approach to address the, his, the issues head on. The two parties recommended that at the level of the permanent secretariat there will be a funding mechanism that should be put in place to fund identified activities. The establishment also of a channel of communication central to the operationalization of the agreements and protocols as well as activities related to them. The two countries also reaffirm their commitment to ensuring that dissidents or subversive elements from either states are not harbored or allowed to use the use of its territory to destabilize the order. 
training and capacity building also of the Gambia Defense and Security Services were also requested by the Gambian side. The two countries also strongly recommend the posting of defense attaches to the Gambia High Commission in Dakar to facilitate the follow-up of the implementation of the cooperation agreement. In pursuit of these, focal points were also identified for the defense and security. The permanent secretary at the Ministry of Defense was identified. And for the military, the Senegalese defense attache in the Gambia was also identified. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity at this moment to applaud and appreciate the efforts of the joint military committees for having fulfilled the recommendations that the presidential council meeting are proposed to holding of joint military committee. The inaugural meeting that was held in January 2024 in Ziganzor and also other meetings held in Kaula and today in Banjul, this shows a clear indication of the respect and the discipline that the joint military has been conducting themselves. I think you all deserve commendation for a job well done. For the Joint Defense and Security Committee, the first meeting was to be conducted around the end of 2023. Cognizance of the Senegalese presidential elections, the activities of the Defense and Security Committee were stalled. Excellencies, let me also at this juncture state that I have a special relationship, both official and personal, with my brother, His Excellency General Basiru, uh, General Param Biram Jo, the Minister of Forces Army of Senegal. At the level of the two defense ministries and our two armed forces high command, we have a great part to contribute to this special relationship. The spirit that informed this relationship and the agreement entered into is a very much consistent with the broader spirit and objectives of the Senegambian integration and by extension the regional integration framework of both ECOWAS and the African Union. Therefore, the fruitful bilateral cooperation that exists between the Gambia and Senegal is reminiscent of the great sacrifice made by the two countries for peace, security, and stability. The actions of the two were informed and guided by the belief that peace at home means peace in the world, as illustrated by Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founding father of the Turkish Republic. In this light, we commend Senegal and the ECOWAS Commission and all member states that are contributing troops in the Gambia for their invaluable contribution and service to the stabilization in the Gambia. As a country, we continue to applaud the economic forces in the country for their distinguished service and sacrifice as they continue to serve with untinted resilience and unwavering metal, discipline, professionalism, and commitment. Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I re-echo that this meeting creates a flat platform for our two armed forces to put heads together and come up with a roadmap on the implementation of the defense and military agreements already signed. This could not be timelier considering the dynamic security environment we find ourselves in today and may face in the future. This forum is expected to come up with a framework for the renewed security cooperation and partnership 
that is capable of dealing with security threats and preventing criminals from using the Senegambian region as a safe haven. Generating an understanding between the armed forces of the two countries through renewed cooperation and partnership is the way forward for confronting crimes and insecurity in the region. Therefore, I urge you to take this meeting very seriously and contribute constructively to the deliberations. We must aspire to work closely together to confront our common challenges together. Together we can build a common view on our security interest and through our bilateral agreements and engagement we will improve shared understanding and enhance trust as envisaged by our two heads of state. On capacity building, on training and capacity building, I want to register my profound appreciation to the Minister of Defence and the Chief of Defence Staff of the Senegalese Armed Forces for the sustained training and capacity building support provided to the Gambia Armed Forces since 2017. Allowing access to these prestigious military institutions is a demonstration of the extent of friendship and cooperation that happily exist between our two countries. My ministry and the Gambia Armed Forces High Command we remain grateful to the Republic of Senegal for this opportunity. In closing, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to thank our great leaders, His Excellency President Adam Abaro, President of the Republic of the Gambia and Commander-in-Chief, and His Excellency President Baziru Jomai Fai, President and Commander-in-Chief of the Senegalese Armed Forces, for creating the enabling environment for this excellent bilateral relationship to flourish. Our two presidents have a fraternal and friendly relationship. It is thus our responsibilities to nurture and to preserve it with full commitment to the cause. Finally, I want to urge the participants of this important convergence to be guided by the spirit of friendship and cooperation that guided those who conceived the agreement on defense and security. I look forward to a very fruitful and constructive deliberation. Long live the Gambia-Senegal relations. Long live the enduring friendship between the peoples of the Republic of the Gambia and the Republic of Turkey. I thank you. You most profoundly for your words of wisdom encouragement and assurance of your support and the support of the commander-in-chief now we